Hello, it's Ty Jewel. I uploaded a video about how tall I am at 21. I talked about me getting my height measured at clinic. I forgot to mention that I measured my clinic on September 28, 2022 and asked them what height rod they used to measure my height. They said it was a SECA 216. A SECA 216 is a wall mounted height rod. I thought that was adding one eighth of an inch because the SECA 213 sedometer adds one eighth of an inch to your measurements. But the SECA 216 adds one sixteen of an inch. When I was 19, I got measured at exactly 5 2 in the afternoon at the clinic. I thought that it meant that I was 5 1 and 7 8, but it meant that I was close to a exactly 5 2 at the time, basically. That would mean that I grew from a exactly 5 2 to 5 2 and 1 8 after 20, well, I almost said 21, 20 years old. In August, I uploaded a video where I measured myself at 5 1 and 3 quarters. During the evening, in my video where I revealed my height, that means that I was 5'1 and 7 eighths in the afternoon. The second 213 sedometer is more limited in how tall you can measure someone at, but it's more accurate than the second 216 sedometer. I'm running down fractions and not saying fractions like 1 8 or 1 16 because they're too specific and sound pedantic. If you go based on my field where I measure myself, I grew from 5'1 and 3 quarters to 5'2 after 20 years old. If you go based on my clinic's measurement, I was a sacrifice two at 20, and I'm still a sacrifice two. People can get measured taller or shorter than they are at their clinic. From measuring myself a lot and looking at myself next to the tape measure at 20, I look five one and three quarters at 20 years old. So I'm going to still say that I grew from five one and three quarters to five two after 20. I'm 21 now.